Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a story and an awareness I recently had on how I believed that relationships had to be hard in order for me to feel good enough and deserving of that relationship and how you may be too. I'm going to dive right into that in just a second, so don't go nowhere. Welcome back, you awesome fucking weirdos. My name is Tony Fonte. How you doing? How you doing? I help men reignite the four Ps, your passion, your power, your playfulness, and your purpose to create deeper intimacy and connection in your life and your relationships. Boom. Before I dive into the message, I want to make sure that if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified when new videos drop. All right, let's dive into the message of thinking relationships had to be hard in order to feel deserving of relationships. It was a recent awareness I had. I was on a coaching call and um, had the coach share something and I had this just epiphany going, oh shit, I, I thought relationships had to be hard. And it's a generational thing that's been passed on because that's how my mom and dad were. They both thought relationships had to be hard and difficult because that's what they saw. And then that, that goes on for generation to generation. It keeps being passed on. And then we just put our perception into that belief and create our reality, our relationships from that. Maybe not it be the same as what your parents are, but they're still unhealthy. This is why I've been married four times, divorced three and widowed once. And why my good relationships, I sabotaged them. It had to be hard. I created my relationships to be hard. I, even when they were going all right, I still made it be hard. I would find a way. It's all unconscious, by the way. We consciously would not want our fucking relationships to be hard. But in order, and this happens in not just relationships. This happens, happens with finances. It happens with, with our health. It happens with life and having fun and expressing and experiencing and speaking our truth and creating this fucking awesome life, the dreams that we have and making them a reality. It has to be hard in order for me to feel good enough to deserve it, to feel worthy, to have it, to accept it. I can't accept it if it's easy. That's what I don't know. I don't know that. And how can I have it easy? How can I have it good when my parents didn't have it good? And their parents and their parents. Who am I? All these fucking unconscious beliefs come up. And they're stored subconsciously, obviously. And where we block them out, these beliefs and these thoughts and words that we have, we block them out. But they're stored in the body. And they'll come up. And that's how we create our reality, from that vibrational set point. And only when we create this new desire, this new energy, and we start doing the work and consciously creating the life we, we desire and consciously creating the relationships we desire, and we start doing the inner work and doing the healing and doing the, the awakening and understanding the dynamics of who we really are and remembering who we truly are. Look, I'm over here doing a little cha-cha over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we become whole again. We're not broken. We're never broken. It feels that way. But it's when we start doing the work that we feel our wholeness. We begin feeling our wholeness and we get to show up differently. And we get to say, okay, this is what I want. And I'm going to start making this step and, and taking these actions, these inspired actions towards what I want. And I'm going to face the fears when they come up. I'm going to face the insecurities when they come up. And you get to say it right now. If you're really feeling this resonate in your body right now, this is probably true for you. You may have thought relationships had to be hard. Maybe your relationship right now is just difficult and you're wondering, do I deserve a relationship? Should I be in a relationship? I've actually had, I've actually had that thought. I mean, I've been married four times, divorced three, widowed once. I haven't had the greatest success. And how can I just sit here and, and teach relationships in life? Because I have a lot of great examples of, of what, how not to do it. And I've learned what to do. 
and still learning it. I'm not fucking perfect. Nobody is. And anybody, any expert or guru tells you they're fucking got it figured out, you need to fucking run away from them. This is real shit. This is raw shit. And I don't have it figured out, but I am determined to become better and better every single day. Just like I determined, I don't, I'm going to become the best man and dad I could possibly be. I'm going to die trying when I was overcoming anger. When I wanted to overcome anger, and that's what I, I, you know, I grew up with. I broke that cycle. And now I'm breaking financial cycles, abundance cycles, and, 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 and career and cycles and, and dream cycles. When I say dreams, as our dreams, not our dreams that we do when we're sleeping, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. Really diving into this work and understanding. And I want you to do, I'm going to stop right now. And I want you to declare this and I want you to say this with me. If you are struggling with relationships and it and, and resonates with you, that you felt that relationships had to be hard in order to feel deserving of it. And you create these scenarios unconsciously to make it hard. But then you want to give up on relationships when they don't work out because like my track record's not great. So maybe I shouldn't. Declare right now. Relationships can be easy. I declare now that relationships are easy, they are fun, and they are expansive. And I release, I release the belief that relationships have to be hard. I am worthy right now of a healthy, loving, powerful, connected, and fun relationship. Say that to yourself. Say it every fucking day. Declare it. Relationships, and that's with life too. Relationship with money, relationship with your kids. Relationship with your business or career. If it has more challenges than it does ease and flow, if it has more resistance or feels more forced than it does ease and flow and playfulness and fun, there's a disconnect. There's some underlying belief that it has to be hard that you've bought into that has to be hard. And that relationship, or whatever it is in that moment, is not for you. It is not the best for you. You are already deserving. You are already worthy because you fucking exist. There's nothing that you need to do to deserve a fucking healthy relationship. Nothing. Except be yourself. And work and continuing to be yourself every single fucking day. Becoming a better version of yourself every single day. But you're already fucking worthy. You're not doing the work to then be worthy of a relationship. So dive in. Dive in deep into the work. Declare it. I now release the belief that relationships have to be hard. And I now accept and I open up to the pot, limitless possibilities of ease and flow and fun and deep connection and intimacy and playfulness and evolution and growth and expansion in my relationships. I am already good enough. I am already worthy enough. And I'm already deserving enough of a relationship. Boom. There you go. All right. I'd love to hear from you. What came up from you? for you, not from you. Well, yeah, came up from you too. <laughs> so I guess I did say that right. Come up from you, come up for you as you watch the video, as I shared that message, as I shared my story and my own belief and all that generational shit that I thought relationships had to be hard. I made them hard unconsciously. What came up for you? I'd love to hear from you. And if you'd like help and guidance on your journey to, 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 to reigniting the four Four Ps, the passion, your purpose, your power, and your playfulness to create deeper intimacy and connection in your relationships in life. 
If you want more guidance on this journey, there are multiple ways that we can work together. I'll have links below. Some of them are self-paced. Some of them have more, more guidance from me with me. Does that make sense? I'll have the links below. Figure out what works for you. And I'll see you in the next episode of the Laughing Through Life Show. Peace. <laughs>